Introducing RLM Server version 16.0. 16.0 has a new web interface and brings many security improvements. For a full list of changes, please see the release notes. A link is in the description. RLM is now HTTPS by default. To access the web interface, put in HTTPS, the URL or IP address to your server, a colon, and the port number your web interface is running on. The default port is 5054. RLM will create self-signed SSL certificates when run. Note that most browsers will display a security warning when navigating to a website with a self-signed certificate. Your IT team will be able to set up signed certificates and use those with RLM if desired by your organization. For instructions on how to use your own certificates with RLM, see the link in the description. You will now see the RLM login screen. The first time you run RLM on your server, the login credentials will be username, admin, password, admin. You will then be prompted to create a new password for the administrator account. Note that if you are upgrading from an earlier RLM version, you will not be able to reuse your existing credentials and will need to recreate them. User management to the RLM web interface is now controlled inside the user interface. Here you will be able to create logins for other users who need to access the RLM web interface. Note that with version 16.0, the user roles and permissions have changed. Previous roles no longer exist, and the three roles now are Administrator, Manager, and Viewer. For a full description of these roles, please see the link in the description. From the new homepage, you can see all of your running ISV servers at a glance. You can drop down an ISV to see the licenses available on the server, and you can drop down a license to view the current usage. You can also click on the kebab menu to perform ISV server actions, such as restarting the server to read in new license files, view the ISV specific options, or work with the log files. Note that users with the view role will only have the license password option. The activation page has been condensed to be easier to use. If your ISV has provided you with an activation key, you can enter the URL, ISV name, and activation key they have supplied you to generate a license file for your server. Note that users with the view role will not be able to activate licenses. Server diagnostics are now available directly in the web interface. You can download the diagnostics should you need to provide these to your ISV. Note that users with the view role will not be able to view server diagnostics. You will find up-to-date documentation online, and there is a dedicated link in the RLM navigation menu. Clicking on the user icon in the upper right corner will bring you to the remaining menus. In the settings, you will find the user management, RLM debug log, and the RLM options screens. Note that RLM options are now read-only in version 16.0. You can also change your password and view the system info. If your ISV asks you for your server's host IDs, you will find them here. While largely feature complete, RLM 16.0 doesn't currently have metered licenses, alternate server host IDs, or license transfer functionality. These features will be brought back in the next update. Thank you for watching this RLM 16.0 overview. We hope you will enjoy using the new interface and we will keep you updated about future releases.